Hello Nate, so we're having issues with one of our storyline projects here which hopefully you can help us to resolve. When the user submits, i.e. selects the correct answer uh, from the options available, they'll see either the correct layer or the incorrect layer. And then on each of these we're using a set state value in order to change the question box on the base layer uh, to it's either correct or incorrect state. So if we go back to the base layer here and open it up, uh, you can see that we're using just the inbuilt states there and then there's uh, uh, different states depending on uh, hover, selected, correct, incorrect. So if we preview one of these slides in isolation in the project, so I'll go ahead and select one of the incorrect answers, click submit, so that all works exactly as I want it to. But now take a look at what happens if we go and publish the whole project. So this time we start with our introduction slide and then clicking next will take us into the question bank. So we're going to go through all three questions before getting to the summary slide. This time when I select an answer and click submit, the states aren't changing. But what's interesting is uh, our change state for the next button in order to move on to the next slide is working. So it's only for whatever reason those correct and incorrect states that, that aren't changing and only when we're previewing the project as a whole. So it's really strange and, and uh, it'd be obviously really great to get your uh, opinion and, and perhaps a workaround for how we can solve this. Thank you very much. Hey Chris, thank you for sending your project and the video explaining how, what the bug is. And yeah, that, this one was fun. <laughs> I mean, if you consider debugging fun. And basically it comes down to drop correct and drop incorrect states not working in question banks. That's, that's it. Uh, and they do grow correctly if you use drag and drop items where these things uh, happen you know, automatically, where storyline processes everything without triggers. But we, if you want to use it like in a custom situation like yours, it doesn't work. I even tried to create a fresh slide with like, it's not even a quiz. When you click change the state to drop correct and it doesn't work when it's in a question bank. Uh, so. If we if we look at the file, I went to to the states to all the states of your answers, and basically I duplicated drop correct and created new states correct and incorrect. And using this approach, I fixed the triggers. So we say change it to correct, change it to to incorrect. And using it like that, it it does work. So if I preview selected slides, so it's in your video you said if you publish everything, but basically even if you just preview selected slide, the question bank, that's when the the not magic happens. That's 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 when you get the problems. So if I select the incorrect one, submit. It works. So all, all it all comes down to uh, do not use drop correct and drop incorrect states. Create your custom states and it will work fine. Uh, I was also googling about this because I was I wanted to make sure that it's not something I'm making up. And I did found the oldest post was like five years ago. Someone was asking about this, and then I, I also found it uh, a year old post. And actually, one of the articulate staff mentioned that, yes, this does, does not work. Workaround is don't use it. Use your custom states. So who knows when this is going to be fixed. So just don't rely on waiting for the fix. <laughs> use your own solutions. Uh, there are a few more things I want to mention about the, 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 the whole project, the quiz here. Uh, I like the animation that you're using here, you know, using a white box here in the in the state of this of this orange rectangle just to hide uh, just to like a, make a mask so it looks like the orange orange line is making all the the text appear that's a, that's a really nice approach first i thought it was maybe like a scrolling panel thing 
but then I saw this and yeah, this is much, much, much simplified and it works great. Uh, personally here, when I have a question like this, I like to change the submit button to disabled. So only after one of the questions, one of the answers is selected, the submit button changes. You know, I already set this up. So if I, you know, I cannot submit, you have to select something. When you select submit button goes to normal. Uh, otherwise, when user, otherwise they would click and they would get that ugly pop up that nothing was selected, or you would have to create custom ones, which means more triggers. So I just I prefer this approach. So like the the order of the clickability, you know, is is set up because you cannot click the submit first. So user has to go to the answer first. Um, and in here, in the when you show the layers, I see you have you're blocking the ability to click again on the base layer. I totally understand why you're not you're not using this check mark here because you need to access the next button. So of course that makes sense. I, I personally I started using hotspots for these things uh, just because you can see them. You know. I can see this is a hotspot. It's it's clear because we're used to how it looks. And the thing is, you you can see it because if you're just using this one, you don't see this line. Uh, I mean, you don't see this rectangle. Uh, you know, maybe you want to fix the text here, and you click it, and and oh, I I have to hide this first to get to here. So I just prefer the the hotspot because it's clear what it's covering. So. It just, I think it just makes things easier because this is transparent and you can't really tell that it's there. Okay, Chris, so this concludes the review. Don't use drop in correct states. Personally, I never use them. Uh, I don't know why, I just feel, I, I always felt like it, they are connected to drag and drop, so I, I didn't use them and I never came across this issue before, but you also haven't because you just sent this to me. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's what we learned. Don't use drag, uh, drop correct, drop in correct states. Go with custom states in question banks and then everything will be better and the sun will be shining. So thank you for sending this. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me and have a great day.